Hi, in this lecture, I'll cover Jenkins Shared Library. Essentially, Jenkins Shared Libraries are used for code reusability in pipeline jobs. For example, I have a logic to deploy war file to Tomcat, and I want to reuse this logic in multiple pipeline jobs. I can use a shared library, put this logic there, and reuse that logic everywhere in our pipeline jobs. Okay, in this lecture, we will see step by step approach how to create shared library and how to use shared libraries in Jenkins pipelines job. We have to create a project, and the project should have following folder structure it should have VAS, SRC, and resources. So VAS will have our main Groovy scripts where we put our reusable function. And SRC, in Java, generally what happens, right? We call utilities. So utilities is nothing but a function which is reused within this project, okay? So if you wanna put utilities, you can put utilities inside SRC. And if there are any static configuration data, we wanna use part of this project and that goes under resources so this is a project structure we should maintain for for creating shared libraries let's begin by creating project in git so i have my git account github account so go and create new repository I'm gonna call it shared libs. I'm gonna keep it public so that you guys can refer. Create repository. Let's go and create new file. So as per our folder structure, we should either have SRC, VARS, resources, right? So all those folders are not mandatory. So at least SRC or VAS folder is mandatory. I want to create VAS folder. In this, I want to create a welcome dot groovy script, which is going to be our, uh, our shared library. You can have any file name. okay so when i when i call this function in my jenkins pipeline i'm gonna use welcome as a name so if i give xyz here then i will refer it as xyz in my pipeline but we should always give descriptive names so i want to give that welcome and i want to write a function in groovy def def is a keyword for defining a function and i want to retain this name i don't want to give arbitrary name here i want to i want to have it call the function name is call and this function can take n number of arguments but in my example i want to take only one argument so what this function should do is when called it should say something like this So when I call this function from Jenkins pipeline, I use welcome as a step name and I'll pass my name there. It will call this function and it will say, hey, my name, how are you? So this is enough for now. And let's understand how to use this shared library in our Jenkins pipeline. Commit. Copy this URL. 
let's go to Jenkins job let's create new job for this demonstration I want that to be pipeline click okay I'm sorry let me save it here and I will come back to this see before I use shared libraries I need to configure that go to dashboard manage Jenkins configure system you'll find a section where I can put my shared library repository details yeah global pipeline libraries I only have one library there I am leaving what I am already have there and I want to add a fresh one. Click add name. Let me give a name uh, Java Home Demo. Default value uh, when you refer to a Git repository, you could say uh, a default branch. Like, I mean, when, when we check out the code from this shared library uh, Git repository. Our shared library may have multiple tags, multiple branches. So here I could specify my default branch. So in, in, in my case, the branch name is main. So I wanna use main as my default branch. Now retrieval method. How to retrieve shared libraries? Our shared libraries are in GitHub. So I wanna use this approach modern SEM legacy don't use legacy legacy is the old approach and modern is the latest approach click on it it's in git take that URL because it is public I don't have to provide credentials I don't have to provide credentials save it but note this name see step one create a project in kit and follow the standard folder structure and write one groovy script step two configure that shared library under jenkins manage jenkins section number three I can use that shared library in my project. So demo shared lips, go there, click configure. So pipeline. So I should import that library in order to use functions in that shared library. As a syntax, right? At the red library name of the library we configured under Jenkins this is the syntax to import pipeline agent so any represents I mean this pipeline can run on any agent it could be master it could be slave stages let's call that demo steps now I want to call the shared library the groovy function name inside shared library is welcome it takes one argument
I am giving my name there. Save. Build. Something went wrong. There is a typo. Yeah, save it. Build it. And perfect. I see my shared library is working. So if I want to use this shared library in one more job, same thing. You go to that job, import it using this syntax. After that, follow this. See, I can call this multiple times in same project or in a different project. now it has to print twice so that's the basic idea of shared library important points to keep in mind in this case the function name should be call so when we refer to this script in pipeline job okay it by default calls call function now can't we have different function name? Can't we have multiple functions inside this script? We can have. Let's see one more example for that. Go to VARS, create file. I call it calculator.groovy. This time I'm giving different function name. I'm not giving call as a function name x comma y and it should print a message like this sum of x and y is x plus y sum of i'm using interpolation to uh, pick up the value of x meaning if this function is called with 10 comma 20 here it will be sum of 10 and dollar y if i'm passing 20 it will be 20 is x plus y so likewise i can have multiple functions like this like multiplication multiplication of x and y is x into y so calculator is a script and add multiply all the functions and the way we call these functions are different from our previous one commit but I don't have to configure this again because this repository is already configured. So go to configure pipeline, right? Now calculator dot calculator is the script name that is calculator dot groovy dot add so means right it will use calculate dot groovy in that it will call add function it takes two arguments right it takes two arguments so if i want to call second one similarly this will fail and i'll show how to fix that build it failed the the reason is this is directly a groovy syntax in declarative pipelines we should not use groovy syntaxes directly if you want to use groovy syntaxes directly 
you should wrap that inside script block. So okay, save it, build it. It worked well, and see the output. Sum of twenty five and seventy five is hundred. Multiplication of twenty five and 75 is 1875 so this is how we develop shared libraries and this is how we use shared libraries inside pipeline jobs see you next lecture